right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, the intro section, through the fog, deposit profit. There's a lot of subheadings and stuff, but that's where we're at. So what we're asked here is we are getting three inputs, a deposit amount, a rate of growth, and a threshold. And what we a threshold of being, hey, when we hit that number, we're done. Um, and what we want to return back is how many years uh, with this rate of growth will it take for us to hit our threshold. So, in our example here, uh, you know, if we are growing by 20, our threshold will hit 170 in about three years. So that's what we need to return back. Let's start by creating a um, function called year. And it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, and what we're doing, uh, we'll have a while loop that iterates that checks, hey, is our deposit greater than our threshold? Uh, or is our threshold still greater than our deposit? If it is, run our logic again. So it's just a simple while loop. And in here, say while threshold is greater than deposit. What we want to do is we want to take our deposit amount and we'll to add to it the deposit value times the rate of growth divided by 100 because they don't actually pass in a uh, floating number. So in our case, we have deposit plus equals the value of deposit times rate divided by 100. So every time that happens, we want to increase the year by one. And that's it. I mean, at that point, we just return the year. So the hardest part is maybe if for some reason you got to was this number 33 or 35 or whatever and you don't understand um, interest and like gaining interest and how that sort of compound interest but this is essentially compound interest at, at its core so I, for the first year he gains 20 after that he gains 24 because now he's gaining interest on his interest and so on and so forth and uh, we're just keeping track of how long that would take for him to do it um, pretty straightforward uh, you could probably use recursion in here as well um if you don't want to use a while loop you want to maybe create a uh a more fancy function and uh, but uh this is what i did it's pretty straightforward in my in my book no need for a recursion but uh, as always guys uh thank you for watching the video if you want to support me you can at patreon.com slash code 360 join our facebook group our uh discord channel all that great stuff all those links are in the description i uh appreciate you watching like, subscribe, comment, share, and if you have a different solution, go ahead and share it in the comments so other people can learn. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.